Hi, Timothy Eckert here, and in this video, I want to talk about inputs in Python, if LF else conditionals in Python, and comparison operators in Python. So first, let's start off by getting a user's age. So we can start with the keyword input, and we can say, what is your age? With a question mark. And we're going to put a space after this because the input is going to put the cursor on the same line as the text from the input. So if we didn't put a space, uh, the cursor would be right up against the question mark. So we don't want that. We're going to close the quotes and close the parentheses here. And this is just going to take in the user's age, but it's not going to assign it to any variable. And we want to assign it to a variable. So we're going to go to the start of this line and say age equals this input. Now, when they enter this in, this is going to come in as a string. Okay. So that's going to be a string we want an integer, so we're going to typecast this into an integer. So we're going to type int, then an opening of parentheses, and then we're going to go to the end of the line and close the parentheses. So we're going to surround the input in an opening and closing parentheses. So now we've typecast the user's input into an integer. Okay. So now we can do some stuff with it. So we can say if your age is greater than or equal to 18 and then we can run some code and the code indented after the if statement is going to be the code that's run if the if statement is true okay so we can print your old enough to vote my kitty is very interested in this okay um, otherwise we can, we can do an else statement. And again, the code that's going to run if the condition is not true, the else statement is going to be indented. We can print, you are not old enough to vote. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's save this and let's now run this program in the terminal. Okay. What is your age? Let's say 18, I wish. Uh, you're old enough to vote. Okay. What is my real age? 45. You're old enough to vote. What is another age? I wish I was 17. You're not old enough to vote. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, we can also do an if LF else statement. So let's delete this stuff. And we'll say if age, and then we'll use a double equals which means is equal to 18, we can print, you are the minimum required age to vote. Okay. And uh, then we'll do an elif and we'll do another condition. Age is greater than 18. We can print, you are old enough to vote. The only other option is that we're less than 18. So we can do else and we can print, you are not old enough to vote. Okay. All right, let's save this. Let's open up a terminal and let's recompile. What is your age? You're 45, you're old enough to vote. Okay, what is your age? 18, you are the minimum required age to vote. What is your age? 17. You're not old enough to vote. So that's a different way you could do it. All right, let's delete these lines. And let's use a different comparison operator. And let's say if age is not equal to 18, okay, we can print you are not the minimum age required to vote and we can do an elif statement um, we can say age is greater than 18 we can print you are the minimum or you are old enough to vote okay and we can do an, another LF, age is equal to 18. We can print, you are the minimum 
required age to vote. Let's actually put a period here. Uh, let's undo that. Okay. And um, then we could also have an else statement, um, which is well, actually, no, we don't need we don't need one because we've got greater than 18, we've got 18, and we've got not 18. So if we're 17, they're going to go the first one. Um, so this one's a little interesting because the way we wrote the statement, anything that's not 18 is going to hit that first statement and ignore the rest. So really, this third one isn't going to work. So let's let's check this out. Let's save it. And let's open up a terminal here. What is your age? 19. You're not the minimum age required to vote. Okay. What is your age? 45. You're not the minimum age required to vote. What is your age? 18. You are the minimum age required to vote. What is your age? 17. You're not the minimum age required to vote. So we'd want to fix this program. So um, what we could say is... Uh, we could do an and. I was trying to do a and in a different language. We just use and. So uh, we could say age is greater than 18. Okay. So if you're not 18, actually, no, let's make this less than because we haven't used less than yet. Um, and then what we can do is we can print here, uh, you are not old enough to vote. Okay. Now, really, do we need this and statement? Because if you're less than 18, you're not going to be equal to 18. But for demonstration purposes, maybe this works. OK, let's open up the terminal here and rerun this. What is your age? 18. You are the minimum age required to vote. What is your age? 45. You're old enough to vote. What is your age? Um, 17. You're not old enough to vote. OK. All right, let's get rid of this stuff here and let's change um, this instead to height. And let's say, what is your height in inches? And we'll leave a space here. Okay, and now what we'll do is we will uh, do an if elif, else conditional and we'll say that they want to ride a ride and they have to be Four, between four feet and seven feet height, right? So what we can do now, this might make a little bit more sense. We can say if height is uh, greater than or equal to 48 inches and uh, height is less than or equal to uh, seven feet in inches, 84 inches, then we can print uh, you are the proper height to ride the ride. Okay. We can say elif. Now we can do height is less than 48 inches. We can print you are too short to ride the ride. Okay. Uh, or what we could do is another L statement, or we can do an elif and leave out the else. We can say height is greater than 84. We can print uh, you are too tall to ride the ride. Okay, so now if we save this and run it, what is your height in inches? Uh, I'm 5'10", so 70. You are the proper height to ride the ride, but let's say I was 47. We'd say you're too short to ride the ride. And let's say I was 85. You were too tall to ride the ride, okay? How could we change this about again and show you a different operator? Um, well, let's delete this and we can use an or operator. We can say if height is less than 48 or height is greater than 84, well, then we can print uh, you are not the proper height for this ride. So you're either be too tall or too short. And then we could do an else statement because that the other condition would be greater than or equal to 48 and less than or equal to 84. So we could then print, you are the proper height for this ride, okay? 
All right, so we can save that. And now let's run it. Okay, what is, is your height in inches? Uh, again, I'm 70. So it's going to say you are the proper height for this ride. But if I did if I did 84, it would still work. If I did 48, it would still work. But if I do 47, you are not the proper height for this ride. Or if I do 85, you're not the proper height for this ride. Okay. Um, let's see. So we covered uh, a bunch of things. So let's just refresh what we covered here. So I'm going to make a comment. We covered greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, is equal to, is not equal to, and then um, and and or. Okay. Okay, we've taken care of most of the comparison operators in Python and shown you the conditional operators if, elif, else, and showed you how to input and typecast an input into an integer. If you found this video helpful and informative, please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. And I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.